all right all right today let's implement the concept of deployment pipelines in microsoft fabric so let me give you a quick review what is deployment pipeline so deployment pipeline in microsoft fabric helps us to automate the process of copying changes made to contents in different environments like development uat production so if we begin we can uh, see the deployment pipeline directly here in the workspace as well we can see deployment pipeline but in order to begin this deployment pipeline we need to create workspaces and especially different workspaces for different environments that is development uat and production so let's begin by creating new workspace first let's begin with the uh, let's say the development environment let's name it so let's write a dev for development easy to remember short and simple let's try for free let's click 60 days trial this looks good it will create our first workspace that is the development so without doing a beginning uh, with this we'll first create another workspace for um, test environment let's name is uh, uat maybe something uat um, uh, cloud guru amit or something uh, let's name uat cloud or something uh, let's click on apply so we are good with uh, two workspaces now development and uat let's create uh, the last workspace i'll go to workspace new workspace uh, let's uh, give it a name uh, maybe production for production environment let's hit apply so now we are good because if i open workspaces i have all the three environments where i can test and move to production once uh, the code is ready so here we go let's check out what um, development has so currently we cannot see anything because it's empty now let me open the pipelines let's click on workspace i'll go to deployment pipelines here we'll be able to see uh, visually everything so here if you look add a new deployment pipeline it has given us the hint what needs to be done we can even share uh, with our users that as well once done so let's uh, go ahead by clicking on new pipeline first let's give a name to our pipeline let's click on next and if we click on next now we can see an outline of the different environments that is development test and production just like uh, we have uh, the cake recipe remember which i said in the theory part we are developing the cake then testing the recipe with few of our friends and finally moving into production that is opening a bakery shop so this is what the entire uh, deployment pipeline in a nutshell looks like so if i uh, click here i have got the save changes here right whenever we click we can do the save changes anytime so once are done with the naming part we can change the name if you don't like test you can give it like uat as well as per your uh, wish but uh, we are good we'll uh, create and continue i'll click got it so now our next task is to assign workspace remember in previous step we have created three workspaces for each environment so here i can select dev for development i'll check mark this it will say assign next i'll move to uh, uat cloud that is the uh, our test environment i'll click on assign workspace we can see uh, successfully assigned workspace please make sure it's successfully assigned and in the end uh, we got the production as well similarly we can check mark uh, this as well so we are good we can see the green um, um, check mark so whenever we see the green check mark the tick green tick and the green um, um, here it means all our three environments are synced currently you might be having question how three environments are synced because we haven't done anything all the three environments are empty that's why they are indirectly synced right you got the concept because nothing is there 
right so let's um, create some content how do we create some content we need to um, maybe go to the development um, workspace let's select the development workspace here and after selecting the development workspace i'll go to add new item let's add uh, one new item maybe a lake house or um, something to experiment with or begin with is a good idea so we'll get the lake house under the stored data and we have the lake house here let's give a name to our lake house let's click on the create once the name is ready let's wait for a while till our uh, lake house explorer is uh, ready let me quickly close it and here uh, if you see in the explorer we haven't got any kind of tables or files because everything is empty so for this tutorial since we are implementing ci cd pipelines that is the development uh, deployment pipeline so we can uh, test with sample um, data which is provided by microsoft itself or we can upload our own files from our local computer as well but for this um, tutorial uh, in the interest of time let's go ahead with uh, creating one sample we can use any of the three sample uh, whatever you like i'll use the new york taxi sample let's uh, wait till this uh, sample data gets loaded in the tables all right my sample data is now ready i can see the data as well it pops up so we are so far good from the left hand side the pipeline deployment pipeline which we have uh, opened we can open this as well but first let me show you uh, in the uh, development environment what we have if you look in the development environment uh, we have the lake house right which we have just created and it has got the taxi sample data right and now let me show you uh, maybe the test environment it is empty same goes for production environment it is empty so now all the three environments are not synced because we just got data in development environment only that is it has got some sample tables which are not there on the other environments like test and production so how do we sync all the three environments together i'll go to my deployment pipeline and if you look now there is a break right how do we uh, how there is a break if you look the sign this is orange with a cross uh, i mean the golden with a cross it means the development and test environments are not synced right this itself says that the uh, it's not synced though we have verified manually using the workspace that development got the lake house uh, with uh, some sample taxi data which test and production doesn't have so our task is to sync the environments now so how do we do it so i'll select the test environment you can see the green border here so it uh, it's it means that it is ready to ingest our data from the lower environment if you see the arrow this is the lower environment right which is pointing it is higher that means development is lower environment then test same goes for production production is the highest environment that is it is meant for um, end users once our product is ready and polished so if i click on the test now i can see the green border and here we have the deploy from deployment right but the problem is we cannot see the deployment deployment button how do we fix it if we see here the check mark we need to check mark this because we need to tell microsoft fabric what we want to move from lower environment like from development to test environment so here we have specified we want to move the lake house especially the lake house contains the um, sample tables from development which we want to move it to test now so let's click on the deploy button and here we can see one uh, this is uh, let's click on um, you can add a note as well if you want right um, like uh, moving to something like moving to test moving data to test something like that so here we go it um, in real projects adding notes and um, 
it helps uh, the developers as well what you're doing maybe version number or something you can also mention right so uh, we'll click on the deploy button and it says deploying so basically uh, you can see copying content to this workspace so all the tables uh, what we had in development is now being copied to test and here we go you can see now that we are able to see a green a ribbon with a tick mark here that means our development and test environments are synced that is both have the same data now right and it also says deployment successful with uh, the date and time mentioned but on the other hand if we see production is not synced it is having the golden ribbon with a cross here it means production uh, data is not synced we can verify this whether a test got synced i'll go to workspaces now i'll go to um, uat and here you can see the uh, lake house right uh, lake house and um, definitely the um, data is also there if i open this so it will uh, contain our uh, uh, basically the uh, tables um, and all uh, right same goes for um, uh, let's move to development here we got the uh, lake house uh, in the development right so here we can uh, see sql analytics is created lake house is created same goes for um, uat as uh, well if i open the semantic uh, we can see the sql analytics lake house so everything is synced basically from development to test so we are uh, good but production is not synced so we are not happy let's uh, move our uh, data to now production so same process goes in order to copy from the lower environment to higher environment that is from test to production i'll select uh, production i'll check mark what needs to be moved it says deploy deploy from test right and here we got the deploy button now let's hit it and here we go with a uh, deploy button let's click on it now it says copying the content to this workspace and here we go we can see now all the three environments are synced how do we know it because we can see the green uh, ribbon with uh, the check mark tick mark green uh, tick mark so that being said the data is in now production as well if i go to workspaces now and now to production i can see the lake house right sql analytics and semantic uh, model and all everything is now there so um that's what uh, goes with the tutorial of deployment pipelines i hope you got the concept uh, the uh, especially our uh, uh, cake concept where we have developed a new recipe for the cake then tested our cake recipe with our few friends once they like the recipe we have moved to production that is opening our own bakery shop so this ensured that everything is smooth and tested and um, it's ready for end user consumption that is production so i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching this video